three coplanar points, and bam, there's the uh, radius of the Earth. Here, 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 here. Uh, on the level, 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 level. The way I phrase it is, it is a monument uh, to the curvature of the Earth. Yeah. It I really totally is. Agree with you. Level. It I really totally is. Agree with you. Level. And bam, bam, there's the, uh, the uh, radius of the Earth. That is navigation from ground-based navigation point to point. So if I want to go from one station to the yeah. other... Right, three straight lines. Triangulation, Great, yeah, so what do they add up to 183? It's not doing... They do add up to 180, don't they? Yeah. They're triangles. Yeah. They're um, triangle. Look at the fucking angles and tell me if they add up to 180. Because right now you're just making an assertion, oh, it's a triangle, it must add up to 180. It must, but it it, yeah, they, yes, it's a they do. It's definition of a triangle. <laughs> For fuck's sake, look at the goddamn lines coming off of yeah, those I points. See, I can see you that you've numbers. wrote some extra numbers in there. Fire, so what? Okay, Paige, but they fucking drew it so that you can get to point A, from point A to point B. And guess what? When you actually go on what it's drawn... 183. You know, so, do you think I follow a line, or do you think I follow an azimuth? Got 183 degrees in I that triangle. Think you follow a straight Crazy, line on isn't the it? <laughs> yeah, I wonder yeah it is. Absolutely yeah. mental. It's insane. You're just throwing out. The Why do you think that is? Foundation of geometry. Why do you think that is? Because you don't understand geometry. You don't understand the fact that this fucking triangle is going on a surface, and the reason it's, it's over 180 a degrees is because it's fucking. It's not a triangle. It's got three angles. It's got three straight lines, and it's got three fucking corners. What, what's wrong with having a triangle with more than 180 degrees? What size ball is that triangle on? Free, free flight dropping. But isn't yeah, that isn't uh, that what a plumb bob is? It's just got a string ball. stuck to it at the end of it. That's. It's going in the same. Meaning no atmosphere. It's not free, free flight. It's dangling from a whatever from a tower. That's not the same as something falling. If something Meaning falls, the it picks up a deflection because at the top of the tower, when you release it, its rotational speed is faster. Rotational speed at the surface of the Earth, so it tends you, you to. Mean, you mean like the atmosphere, or like the atmosphere is also? So, no. so if you wait a minute, Joyce. So, if you were to drop a plumb bob, and then you'd have like the vertical directly underneath you. What you're saying is, if you was to drop a ball, it wouldn't follow that same path. That's correct. Wow. It will drift to the east. So the plumb bobs are perfectly vertical. If you had, if you had, say, a plumb bob on a thread, and you're on a thousand foot tower, and you yeah, yeah, just a big long plumb bob, dropped your plumb bob down carefully and mm -hmm. got all motion out of the plumb bob, so it's not swaying or put anything. Put it, put it in a so jar of oil at the bottom, yeah. And so, it it points to a point on the surface of the Earth directly beneath you. Now, if you take a that spherical object, vertical, say, that one, though, say right? a lead ball, and you drop it, it will not follow the thread of the plumb bob down. It will drift away from it to the east. Wow, that's that's new, George. I thought that that's what they do to find out where something had dropped would be to lower a plumb bob down. I th I'm sure I've seen them do that. Yeah. Plumb bob points directly beneath you, but when you release something and let it go in free flight, it will drift to the east. Actually. To the east? So there is, so there is two reference frames. The atmosphere is not moving with the earth then. Yes, it is. What is the ball traveling it through? It is two reference frames or it is moving with the earth? Be a little bit more specific, please. Atmosphere is moving along with the Earth. It's rotating along. Then with the Earth. object you drop would fall straight down. No. To the east. Yes. Because everything's but, uh, moving together. Maybe, maybe well, the plumb bob does it. Hold on. Because everything's let, let, let moving together. There's your when when you start at the outside of a circle, it's bigger 
when you go into Why the inside of the circle, circle, it's smaller. <laughs> because when you're higher in elevation, you're away what? from the Why center of a circle. Why are we starting with a, a circle? circle? We do oh, not pre-assume here. We do oh, what we can Page, Paige, Paige, if you trail. observe something and you see a drift and it matches one model and not the other, that confirms the circle. You don't assume the uh, circle when you no. drop yeah, it. And we it, don't hold on, hold on, have one, any drift. That the assumption that there's only two possible endings, two well, possible yeah. conclusions. How did you verify that there's literally only two options and everyone has to pick one of those two? Are there any other that? factors that might Intr be Introduce, right? come up with a hypothesis. Come up with some other hypothesis that can be demonstrated and tested and repeated oh, that's and make predictions that's and eliminated. We have. Where, where, where's your elimination? Your so every, model it. gives it to us by Walk saying we no, 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 no. see drift. What have you done? So, so every, every building, every building ever built that's over a thousand foot tall, and there are many of them called skyscrapers, actually are curved at the top because you use plumb bobs and levels. What? Levels, you know, he's that saying Jesus that if Christ. we drop. Okay. No, what Listen. he's saying is if you drop, George was saying if you drop something off that building, you will see a deflection. That can only happen if the atmosphere and the Earth are separate reference frames. If the no. er Earth and the atmosphere are moving together, the ball will drop straight down because the Earth is moving along with the atmosphere as well. So the ground is moving Therefore, across just like the ball is moving across. The atmosphere like has nothing to do with it. The atmosphere has nothing to do with it. It what? drifts because when you're at the top of the oh, tower... George. Your tangential George. velocity is greater than the base of the tower, so when you release it, it has oh a tangential velocity. The, the bottom of the tower is moving the slower of the earth, than the so by the time it gets Tangential to the surface, the earth, velocity, George. Like the oh, he thinks that, oh George, my goodness. The top of the Eiffel Tower is moving faster than the bottom of the Eiffel Tower, even though the Eiffel Tower isn't moving at all. <laughs> so the Eiffel Tower yep. isn't moving at all, but the top is moving faster than the bottom in this man's world. The nuts drop. There you have it, everyone. <laughs> That's only half of it. Amazing. You're also aging slower. Don't forget yeah. that. But they will argue. They will argue. <laughs> so if that we want to live forever, we have to build towers in the sky. The tangential velocity is measured with respect to the center like of the, the tower Earth. Of Babel, so the top of a tower Why are you is rotating with a tangential velocity. That's a little bit greater of the tower they're both moving at the same rotational velocity but the tangential linear velocity is slightly you're greater trying to oh, prove oh, rotation dude. george you can't beg the question to this prove isn't what you... the question this proves it the rotation good. there was no rotation god. there was no deflection rubbish because we have wind and stuff like really george Yes, you could do it in what, a vacuum chamber. You don't have to do it. Then how is that? It, how is it analogous to reality if you're doing it in a vacuum chamber, you stupid well, old you man? You do it outside as long because as you, you eliminate know. factors oh. that how science oh. works. If you oh. have a very and you long day, no wind, causing the drift. reality. Yeah. Eliminate reality. Okay. Yeah. It, uh, all right, pa Paige, if you eliminate, yeah. eliminate, if you the, eliminate the factor called... that you say is called, and you say it's wind, but you eliminate the wind and it still drifts, then it probably wasn't the wind making it drift so if you eliminate, eliminated the go drift. Ahead and eliminate the so biggest factor called reality. Foot, you have ahead. a thousand foot vacuum And you don't chamber. get any, yeah, we don't get any drift in a vacuum chamber. It just falls straight down unless the vacuum chamber is moving. Wow. Even then, wow. I don't think we've ever seen sure that because we don't have one that's a thousand physics. miles high. You sure don't understand they just fall straight how down. objects fall and move, Paige. This oh, is the problem. you don't understand. We got it. We got a you don't yeah, understand. Yeah, we got a you don't, you don't understand. Believe. You don't believe. Yeah, well, you don't. That's well, the fact of the matter. No, George, you want yeah, to remove that's... reality to prove your point about reality. No. If you you want to remove reality. You want to say that wind You're causes something, but when the wind is... Chamber, yes. You moron. But it still drifts, so the why the fuck does it drift? It's a vacuum chamber. Why are you doing that? It's not reality. It don't have... But Paige, why hey, does it drift then? Paige, listen up, Paige. You Who don't have to believe in a vacuum it's chamber. If you the it's fuck, it's drifting. It's not reality. The Eiffel Tower... It is reality. The the it's it's not it's drifting. We live in an atmosphere. It's not reality. So what made it drift in the vacuum? 
Who cares? It's what do you mean, reality. who cares? It's drifting. It's not reality that it drifted? It's not drifting, bro. There's nothing oh drifting in a vacuum. Yeah, yeah. I, I've you're never seen like, anything oh drifting. You just keep saying this over and over like you're, it's true. You're, you're, bro, I've You've been in huge built, huge elevator shafts, bro. I'm talking like for commercial eight. We've dropped things down the elevator shaft. It'll go straight down, hit the bottom. Bing! You won't hit a damn yep. thing. It won't drift a fucking... You're crazy, bro. You're crazy. You mean you go to you go you to gotta try and do oh, this. Right in the hand, we we need to come up with this thing called baller bingo. Right the hand, it's called baller bingo. Every time they say a phrase, every time they say a phrase, you don't understand or right? level is in the middle. You don't understand is in the middle. But we can put an X on our baller baller bingo card, right? And then whoever gets you know first place gets the money. Yeah, but you can put baller bingo cards on your bingo card, right? And then whoever gets you know straight straight line. You can't help but you understand that of the shaft because the deflection isn't that much. I told you at a thousand feet, your deflection is a little less than four inches. Yeah, you hit it. Okay, yeah, you that, hear it hit the bottom of the elevator. And that's due to curvature. And that's due to curvature, George. You know, rotation. A curve. I have a test, everybody. And George agreed to it. Listen to this, guys. Remember the, the Eiffel Tower you test? It. You use the yeah. elevator chip. Yeah. That'll be easy. Drop your plumb line down, okay. mark an X at the bottom of the shaft, and then drop your object from the top of the uh, plumb line. And you'll see that it'll hit the bottom. It will have drifted to the east uh, well, a few well, inches. Should say drift, hot air balloon, say drift. What if I drop an Guys, give me 30 so seconds. You're going to like this. First, okay. you remember the Eiffel Tower test we were talking about? The bowling ball, yeah, standing at the top and me dropping it on the bottom. I mean, uh, at the top, you on the bottom and me dropping the bowling ball. Yeah. And you standing there and not being afraid that it'll hit you. You remember that? I remember. Who are you talking to? You, George. No, oh, I never. Did we set a test. Fuck it. Montreal, you're an SOB. You you lie, you misrepresent oh, everything. Oh, uh, George. Thousand feet, it only drifts four <laughs> inches. Out of my car, George. Oh, George, George, you don't remember oh, saying that. And then you said the, the Eiffel Tower is not enough to bring it to the Caliph Tower. You're an asshole. You don't remember you saying that. that you're an asshole. Another one. I got it. I got it. Asshole. Don't remember saying that, you piece of garbage. George, George, George is seen him win the Yeah, George is uh, yeah, going see now. Or something. Yeah, he, he, he will really drift. does. He's going to drift. George, that's Four inches is enough drift for the bowling he's ball he's never to miss you, you dumbass. I swear to you guys, that's what he told me. Confident George, enough to stand under the building while I drop a bowling ball. That's what this senile old goat that just I never, ever said, said, it. said. <laughs> You're an asshole. You're an asshole. I never said You're that. You're an asshole. I asked you yeah, a I question remember. and you insulted me. Now you're going to get it right well, back. All right. You find, you find George, where you I said that. You think the Eiffel Tower is moving. On you. The <laughs> bottom's <laughs> moving. Forever, bro. That's what he thinks, hey, bro. Hey, George, what you if I drop an elevator down an elevator shaft? I don't know I never said anything like that, Montreal. You're right. You have two elevator shafts, one that's like a little bit tilted. Yeah. Like their verticals. <laughs> mm -hmm. George, George, do you people understand? George, do you understand that if you don't assume a ball and you drop a plumb bob, me, me and you, you and I, me here in Australia, you over there, wherever you are, if we were to drop a plumb bob both at the same time, our verticals would be identical. Oh, the wouldn't. only they way, would hang parallel. on, the only no, way, they would not the, be only, the only no. way you can say plumb that is point. to the plumb line pre assume is a ball. At the center of the earth, and uh, yeah, they, they cannot pre assume be a ball. You absolute, unscientific hey, idiot. Here's page. You Assume are so stupid. Your ball. Just draw yourself Assume a little diagram. Your ball. Draw a diagram. You assume how scientific of you. How scientific of right you. Radio line. The There's the, the question. Oh, yeah, There's the question. We know. You can't show anything without begging the question. We know. We've worked it out.
I'll give you a question. And saying just draw you yourself are. a little diagram, you'll see immediately. Why I mean, are you drawing a shape underneath the vertical? This is something a five-year-old can easily stop. pick up if I show stop. him a diagram. George. And you, with your IQ stop. of 156, can't oh. get it. George, wrong stop with for a second. Why are you drawing no, anything? No, un oh my God! Why are you You've got drawing anything most. underneath those verticals? Bro, he's not listening. George doesn't care. George is not here to have a conversation. He's yeah, just he's, been, right. he's been trained so by Rumpus, right? Is over Page, Page. I came in yeah. here because you were going to have a conversation with me about whether or not oh, gravity yeah, is a sure thing no. and what causes the gradient. Yeah, what so, what causes about? the gradient? Okay. So um, I, I said I said that you have a problem with water curving on a globe because you deny gravity and the existence of gravity. Cool. Then no, in I, that case, I, I would that? hang on, hang on, because you're already you, assuming. So is gravity what a thing? I think there is. I personally think there is something that defines up from down. Yes. Okay. So if that thing exists on a ball, why wouldn't water curve? <laughs> what? There's up I don't and down. Know. I've never been on a ball. I will talk about reality and how. Okay, so now you now you're now you're now you're and asserting and that you there's a ball. Okay. Up and down. So no, if they, if there is, is hold on, hold on, hold on, you are. hold on, hold on. But can you have up and down on a flat plane? Sure. But hold on. You can't have yeah. up and down. Okay. Hold on. Okay, okay, okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. No, 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 hang no, on, hang no. On, hang no, you hang on because I came in. No, I came in here. Yeah, I want to. I came in here to have this conversation with Paige. I don't need a bunch of white knights trying to cover okay. Paige. <laughs> no, we're not white. It's a conversation room, so you can have up and down on a flat plane. So why did you yes. say when there's an up and down we're vertical okay. ball? Okay. So her issue is that she can't no don't tell people what no, my issue is just tell us what you no, think this is what you Not say what this I is know. what you Dude. said you there, said there is no you said water down. you said water cannot curve on a ball if gravity is as we describe why can water not curve on a ball. <laughs> there is no up and down because on a ball. Because fluid dynamics doesn't make a ball. Because fluid dynamics shows. That's what we deal with. No wonder you don't come in. No wonder you only do presentations in here and you stay over there. These people are crazy. How do you talk to somebody, bro? He's like, can hey, Paige talk? talk like, like, I came here to talk to Paige, so can Paige talk? I don't blame you, bro. Sorry. Bro, you just said up and down, therefore ball. Water. Like, oh, yeah, no, that's not what I said. So mind your water. fucking business, because you're putting words in my mouth now, and I'm not having a conversation with you. I'm talking to Paige, because she's the what one that asked me said? to come you in said here. Gravity is up and down, therefore Earth is a ball. I did not say that. That is that you argument. you completely yes, you put words in my you mouth. Did. So did. shut your fucking Please, mouth. Guys. Get stop, in your own stop. conversation. Oh, he's getting mad. He's getting mad. Yeah. Because I'm getting he's mad because can't. you're sorry, putting words in my mouth and you're full of shit about it. You're a complete fucking liar. You're dishonest. You've done it in chat, and I don't want to talk to you. Which way is up? Stop. You're getting crushed, so you're mad. I've seen it a lot, bro. You said. Paige, I'm down. waiting for you your answer. I keep yeah. yeah. interrupting you. Interrupt, bro. Don't interrupt. Oh hey, right, right the hand, bro. right the hand. You Which way is up, up on down. a basketball, you right? Which way is up on a basketball? You call that up and down okay. gravity, okay? So if there's an up and down, and you call that up and down gravity, how does that translate to a basketball? I didn't say it does. I didn't say it does. I think Paige was no, no, jackass. That's not what I said at all. Okay, so how do you get the ball with water sticking around it? I never came to that conclusion. Pages are no the you fuck I did it. Stop putting No, I did not. No, I did not. No, I did not. Page said water can't curve on a ball, but if gravity is a thing, and apparently she's confirming, so why why is it possible? I am not talking about up and down. I'm talking strictly about whether or not if gravity is a thing. Let's let's let Paige respond. Gravity is up and down. Paige, go ahead, respond. Even if I agree that yes, there is something that determines up from down, the water we can know that water at rest will be level. Level. And how do, and how do you know this? Because we can drop a plumb bob, and as long as you don't assume what's underneath that Always plumb talking about bob, plumb bobs. you use yes, because then you use angles and geometry to find your horizontal which will be 90 degrees from that vertical all verticals will be parallel to each other if you're not pre-assuming anything so all those horizontals are the same level, if you don't pre-assume anything level is the determiner for so us, for you're pre-assuming all right 
Still page. No, I'm not drawing a shape under my under my vertical I, I, at I'm, all. I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm line. not saying that. That's not what I said. That's not what I was okay, saying. So what, all right. What am I presuming so then? So you're saying there may be gravity or some force, whatever you want to fucking label <laughs> I think it, right? That's more more like an electrostatic sort of. You know, like when you rub okay, a balloon so, on your hair and you can yeah, pull your and hair if out. That, if that were that the case, then. Compasses would be very erratic if that were the case, but that's another issue. I, I so, could be wrong. I'm not. So, I, I I'm, have, this is one could subject be, you... I haven't. I can't look at everything, okay? Do, do you can't look at a work compass because of gravity. Do compasses no. work because of gravity? No. Actually, okay. actually, compasses are actually way depending on which area they're going to be in. So those oh, compasses dude. that I use in my no. oh, dude, oh, dude. Except, except for the fact that my aircraft that I fly in the northern hemisphere is level in the aircraft. Well, when I end up in the southern hemisphere in Australia, it's tilted because it's weighted for a certain reason. You fly region. all that way? Yes. As it turns out, the military does joint exercises in the, all over the world. You do, though, in your plane. Or the curve. What? Oh my god, it's tilted. The plane is tilted. Yeah. yeah. Proof. We are, we've got are, proof are, that are the you, plane tilts. You, hold on, are you doing the nose down argument now? No, you just on, did, help, didn't you? Can we go back to these verticals? Okay. If you draw vertical lines on a piece of paper and don't draw anything underneath them, they'll all be the same, won't they? Yeah. Yeah. So why are you pre-assuming you're on a ball and There's using no pre radial <laughs> lines instead of vertical Your page, lines? Page focus. Help, Your statement don't you was. Dare say I'm assuming. Yeah, help, help, page. Don't you dare. You're saying. You're help, saying that because everything is vertical, we can't be on a ball. Hey, uh, so you are, you are, you, you're yeah, accusing me, oh, you're accusing oh, me of assuming a globe, but you're fire. assuming yes, you not a globe. Because you can't make that Hellfire. vertical be anything Hellfire. other than straight up and down for absolutely everybody unless you pre-assume a ball. You stupid you, man. Can you I hear me? Now, now I'm stupid Hellfire. because Hello. that's right. I, the overwhelming evidence you're not so listening. Flat. Page, you're not listening. You're saying you're I'm pre-assuming a ball. Your vertical. argument, your argument, pre-assumes not a ball. And I'm saying, no, she no matter how it goes, no. Page, 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 listen. Pre-assume a negative. Things a don't exist until proven to exist. Tools. You don't have to pre-assume a not. It's just that's reality. Like, whatever is is before you prove something else. Great. Yeah. Hell so, you have to prove what a your statement is, Paige, you're, you're Paige, your statement. The ball, so you don't no, want to agree no. with anything I say no. because you don't Paige. want it to be not Paige. a ball. So you, Paige. your Paige. cognitive dissonance is just... Oh, Paige, oh, Sorry, George, you, you are saying to say you are coming up with a shape and your shape is not globe. No, not... That, oh, that's God. what I your statement was. Glad it's not a shape. Verticals. Deal All with the I two verticals. Two vertical lines. That's yep. It. You're the one that did the shape. So that we have two vertical lines. Now, if we just leave it Prove at that. Prove to me they're different. Because <laughs> exactly. they're not there both just go. straight up and down. 90 degrees from horizontal. Prove, prove yeah. Prove they dart into the middle. Like no, in, no, into, no. Yeah. Prove, the they're, prove they're anything different to each other without drawing a shape underneath. Yeah, silence. That's a game over right there. Thanks. Game over, yeah. oh, that's fire. Can you that's, not that's, hear that's, me? That's, that's the geometric. Go Ooh. for it, George. He, we can hear you. I don't think Hellfire can. Did he like? Did he leave? Oh yeah, he can't wait. Now he, George has got to come here and. Oh, I posted and something. Oh no, he's still here. So just talk to him. Yeah. Talk to him, George. He, he probably can hear you. I just said I posted a diagram for you in the chat there, and you can see why. Yeah. Verticals are not parallel on a spherical Earth. He's just yes, I know that, George. That's my whole point. You're assuming a ball underneath those verticals. That is exactly my point. Well, I'm saying if Page. the Earth is spherical, that's yeah. the yeah, way. Yeah, so you're assuming you're better than the question. He, 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 here's, he, here, here's Paige. Would you say that when you look straight up, that is vertical? No. Uh, I asked no, Paige. <laughs> when, you, when you look straight up, you're looking vertically up, right? No. 
No. No, I'm you need a tool to establish vertical, like oh, you need a tool to establish not? horizontal. Yeah. We're, we're not, you can't just I look can't at it and down, go, mm. yeah, if you, but I can't just, yeah. So, like, I if, I, if I'm in off, Australia, a little bit tilted. If I'm yeah, in Australia, you're here with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I look straight up, and Jupiter is there. We could be doing lots of things, right? Me hellfire if right? you were here with me. I mean, probably <laughs> not. But if you look straight up, when I was there, plum bobs and verticals and <laughs> when I was and... there, <laughs> Jupiter was straight overhead. Right? Yeah. Plus or minus whatever eyeball. I call it 10 degrees. Plus oh, or minus. Oh, I see it all on the horizon usually. Straight two overhead. Two or... Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, same it depends on the time of the year. Yep, yep, Is yep. there a plus or minus? So, or... hold on, man. Fuck. So, not three days prior to being in Australia, looking at Jupiter in the northern hemisphere in Washington state, not D.C. Yeah. Jupiter's near the horizon, down low. So if yeah. we're both looking straight up to a sim similar vertical, all right, oh, great. So we'll talk about perspective. If it is flat, right, and I have an angle to Jupiter and you have an angle to Jupiter and we know the difference, the distance between you and I, we can determine exactly how far Jupiter is. Why are you looking at we? lights in the sky, dude? How? When you don't know the size of it. You don't need to know the size of something to know you how need, far it you is. You need to know either the size or the, or the distance. No. Oh, my sweet dick. Are you serious right now? Can can you, you can't not just take have two one measurement? No, we have two. Your location and my location. You're looking at fucking ninety degrees. Got the These are arbitrary along numbers. The ground between me and you, don't you? What else do you have? Yes. Sorry, yeah, so the, if you have if you if you have the distance between two points, right, and then you have a third point up above, and you look at that point at one angle, and I look at that oh, point at right. one angle. Yep. Right. That's distance, not size. I mean, it can no, be. No, fun. no, no. It doesn't are matter. Sorry, I just that's no, no. distance. I just misunderstood that's what you were distance. saying. That's all. Oh my! So you you don't think that converging angles give you a distance? You don't think that's how distance works? That's what trigonometry. But look, but help you trigonometry with triangles with straight sides. Geometry. How does that do anything to the shape of the ground? You're drawing a straight line from me to that other person, okay. then you're drawing a so, straight line to the thing in the sky to get the yeah. angle, because an angle great. is the inclination. So we agree on something. This is great. This is great. We're making progress. So so now, so hold, that, that, hold on. Say, hold that thought. Say, I'm going to show you exactly how it has. Street lamp above his head. Yeah, because right? I pre-assume. Yeah, street lamp above his head, and uh, 3,000 miles away, Paige can see this street lamp, but she's going to be looking basically level at, out on he's the horizon straight up at this street lamp and he's trying to tell yep. us that that shows distance of whatever that street lamp is right and that it curves the ground a street lamp ground now yeah just for another analogy you know like a, a light yeah. all the way well, down a, a street, street lamp can be measured and it, it. it can be measured as a height and you can check the scale of it for the distance away yeah. you can do that with a street lamp not with the lights in the sky. Why not? Because you don't know how big you they are. You don't know how far they, they are away. You, you don't are. know anything about them. It's just a light so in the sky. The light in the sky? This is why we're telling you guys to not assume, don't beg the question, because we've realised, we flat earthers have realised that all the proofs that you guys say are proofs come from begging the question. Are you actually so telling me? No actual proof. Page. Without begging the question. Page, are you actually yeah. telling me that knowing Hell the distance flat. between you and I and us looking at a point. Would that be the bottom of the triangle that you're talking about? Yeah, a straight, 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 straight line. Straight yeah. line. Yeah, straight line distance, yeah. right? So how is yeah. that straight line yeah. curving? <laughs> okay. So All it's right. not curved now. then. It's a Hold straight on. line in Hold between on. you two. That's it. Well done. Thank you very yeah, much. No well curve. Done. I don't know what you're talking about. Let's move right, on. Great. Next question. Great, because now that finally Paige and I are on somewhat on the same page. Um, you're you're, on, a, you're on a straight line in between you. That's the base oh. of your triangle yeah, that great. you're using. Fantastic. Well yeah. aware that was the point. Now, you I'm know also, you now. know the triangle has to be in scale, right? To use it as a measurement for distances or anything like that. All right. You have Paige, to have a have baseline a in scale with the rest yep, of the yep, sides yep, yep. of the yeah, triangle. Yeah, talking, okay. Talking to Paige. All right, Paige, the picture I just posted, right? So which if there, tell me which room. Uh, general, is that? Should I post it somewhere else? General. Okay. All right. Uh, so no, no, that's fine. Oh God, where is it? How far it back? It should be. I just posted it. Hmm. I don't have it. 
Uh, in general? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, quite. General? Uh, just, nappy, just above nappy, gospel? Um, Sean's just said, not that made up BSFE spits. Is it uh, in the 6,000? Yeah. 6,000 yeah, right. It's like three it. lines above her. Yeah, it might 6, still be loading. Yeah. Oh, hang on. There it is. It's come up. Okay, cool. Okay. Yep, I can see it. Cool. All right. So if there's a given point, right? Say that right. nine, that ninety down, that ninety degree on the left, and we'll go to the forty-five yep. degree, where those yep. two meet, right? Knowing the distance yep. between those two points, we can assess yeah. based on those angles where that point is, Who's, right? Who set that ninety degrees? Is that anyone ever done that? Because I take Bro, it you these are these are lights in the sky, the right? right now. These are like these are lights in the fun. sky that you're equating this to, though, are they? Or yes, just so just you're just making triangles. The ground. Hold on, for you've fuck's drawn sake! You've a straight line along the yes. ground. Yes, when yeah. you look at something, yeah. that's great. Line that side, line side is straight. Great. So if I'm there so at that, that forty-five now? degree, if you, you would let me fucking talk, curved? if you would let me fucking talk, the, the, okay. they okay. they need that good. straight line at the right. bottom for an angle, right? So yeah, yeah. All right. Now, in between the forty-five and the 90 right or even yeah. go the other way if you want yep. all right that's halfway that's halfway that distance looking yep. towards the same yep. object right they mm -hmm. should halfway should be getting the same uh, the same point in sight right yeah what's that what's that lat what, what, what make... that's latitude all okay. right two dimensional two dimensional coordinate system so baller, yeah, I, drew this, doing, uh, I drew this. I drew this to explain. I, just, I, win I drew this to explain an equatorial mount, right? So oh, when you're using an equatorial already. mount on a on a flat using... surface, a two-dimensional surface that oh you've even God. drawn as a straight the line. Shut up while I talk to Paige. He's even drawn it straight. Yeah, he's drawn yeah. a straight line. Yeah. Let him let All him right. dig his hole, Bev. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. All right. So. For fuck's sake! Look how long you use an equatorial mount. You said it. You set it to your latitude. So I'm here at, I think, Alabama's 31 degrees. I'm normally at 47 degrees in Washington. Oh, I'm at like 32, 31 or 32. Yeah, you're at 31, 32 south, right? Yeah. So yeah. in order to point an equatorial mount to Polaris, you adjust it based on your uh, your latitude, right? The, okay. the, these, these angles that are in between each other are all based at 69 miles per degree and some change. Right. You just point it at it, though, don't you? Winner, what? These, but these angles are the inclination between two straight lines, yes? No, that's just looking up at that yes, angle. Yes, they like, are. They, they are. Definition look at them. of an angle. Yeah. yeah. So. Straight two all right. straight if, lines. All right. Where, Continuing. Where are, you, where, are you, where are you getting the curve from? So when do you put the curve in? So if I want to point that thing to Polaris, if I'm at a given latitude, I have to set that equatorial mount to the same angle as that latitude, right? If I do that, all right, that zero on the right being the equator and 90 being the North Pole, if I do that, it will not point to the same object in the sky. It simply will not. You've not However, set it up right then. I'm not setting it and up right. What? Yeah, yeah. So you you have to set it up right in order to get it to do what you've line. got to do. Next picture, all right. If I do the same thing, and I actually set it up have based you, on my latitude, have you ever actually I been am there? Talking, and I am talking. Yeah, to you Paige, just theoretically. So shut the fuck up and let me finish what I'm saying because <laughs> you're talking Hans bullshit. Ever done this? He's just trying to say, you know, how he would do it if he had to. Do no, it. I've okay, actually sweet. done it, yeah. and I have. Oh, you the have actually done this. Astro photography to prove it. Of course, I have. You've, you've have been the to the North Pole and, where, and put the. At, I see where you're going. At your on. zenith. Hang on, that picture. That picture that he's drawn, what he's doing is he's using straight lines, but taking the curve of the out end of the angle okay. like the now the look hold on round. hold on Hang Paige. On, please. You no you're already you incorrect me. so let me let me finish what i'm saying because i never finished oh. did you say you've actually been to the north pole and put the no put i that, never said i went that. to the north pole i said you I did. Used an equatorial you said mount. you've done this no you asked if i've used an equatorial mount no no yes, this what you're talking about is what i was yes, said have I've you used ever done this mount in washington i've used it in alabama i've used it in indonesia and i've used it in australia Brilliant. Your All right. angle isn't that curved line at the end of the angle. Okay. That's not Paige, the ground. Page, let me fucking finish. All right. There's no need to swear, dude. Come on. 
Well, yeah, you're no rude. Need. Okay, there's no read. There's no need to be rude and interrupt at every turn well, you, when I'm trying to get a fucking sentence You're the one being rude, out. swearing, dude. Okay, and don't so like you're worried about me swearing, but you can interrupt all you want, right? Just all right, wipe the slate clean. Come on, all right, we'll we'll just all right. move forward. So, from now. just wipe the slate clean. Look at the 45 degree, right? Tangential to that yeah. point where I'm at at 45 degrees latitude. Tangential. Yes. Where's where's yeah, where's so the tangent a, come from? A straight line to a curve. Where from it, yeah. the horizon, right? As so I look as I look straight, straight out. Line. All right. So at that point where I'm at, when I lift that equatorial mount to 45 degrees, my latitude, yeah. I see it pointing right at the north pole, at the north star. Brilliant. How does Light that in the sky. curve Fantastic. the ground? Why would you use an equatorial mount to look at Polaris, first of all? right? Why, why because you get polar a alignment scope, first. You know, a Do you not know how to use an equatorial That's mount? You know, Your first step is getting po not, polar, polar sense, alignment. So. So Do you not you know how to use an equatorial mount? Yeah, yeah. You use an equatorial mount to follow the track of Polaris? Is that what you're saying? No, you use it to <laughs> line it with Polaris. You, If you don't oh. know how to use an equatorial mount, say so, and I'll fucking go cool, through the whole cool. process. Yeah, yeah, well, flat earth sailors have been Hellfire. using sextants for you, thousands of years. Okay, just so you know. Can you understand where I'm coming from when I say, if you, if you draw a vertical line and I draw a vertical line, our verticals are going to be identical if you do nothing but okay. draw a vertical do you understand no. that at least right no but and he, here here's what i'm trying to get can through I your head have confirmation or will you agree but that if you that's... don't assume he, he's anything he's using the wrong tool page he's using the wrong tool but let him go i guess i'm sorry i'm, back I'm saying you should if the earth is flat you should we should be you able should to look not. straight see the same thing when we look straight up but the thing is, you're forgetting about perspective and how parallel lines. Oh, yeah, perspective. Converge. Speaking of perspective, perspective, how come the distances? How come the, the parallel lines won't angular converge? Distance, how come the di the angular distance between stars don't change as they get nearer and closer and further away from you? Because they're not evening. moving. At best, they're revolving over us in one layer of sky, probably in the firmament. Okay, probably yeah. this, probably that, yes. probably this. Okay, yes, so so you're saying you're saying fire, but we definitely hold on. know what vertical and horizontal are. So you're saying when a cluster of stars is overhead, oh, oh, and when that same sky. cluster, hold on, look, keep looking when up, same, dude. Keep looking up. Can I finish? Yeah, you'll never see the. If you if you're looking. Up. If you're looking at that same cluster of stars as it gets to the horizon, why hasn't it? Is the distance from you Who to that cluster of stars knows? the same? Who cares? It's the sky. Who cares? Those are the deductions you make. Those are observations you make. And if you just you're refuse to make an observation, you're obsessed with the fucking stars, dude. You, you go hear? find an astronomy thing or something. It's not. It's not an observation um, uh, per se. It's so how the observation is. They're trying to superimpose it onto a globe, but it could happen over a flat well, plane. I just have an explanation as to why it happens. If you don't have an explanation, then all you, you do is argue out of incredulity. You want to. That's an explanation. That make you make automatically right. correct. But you can fucking test it. Yeah, just like we can test the ground and test that vertical and horizontal are always Okay, let's the test same. the ground. You, ig you certainly right. ignored the fucking maps that I put earlier where we have triangles that make greater than 180 degrees. Sweet! Dude, yeah, yeah, get in true. there. Yeah, let's have that. Yeah. Where were they? Drawing. Were you the one, hang on, were you the one that drew the curved lines on my triangles? On my, on my That's mountain. not a triangle yeah. with a curved line, is it? Yeah, exactly. Because what I did was I drew the three mountains, did put three people on top, drew line of sight from one person to the next person to the next person and back to the first person. Got a triangle. Somebody came along and curved those lines. <laughs> Why? You've got line of sight. You're making a triangle. So a yeah, yeah, three-angle shape. All right, I so do, do I agree, suggesting. Paige. I actually absolutely agree that if you go to where you have line of sight to someone else and you can see each other from mountaintop to mountaintop or tower to tower or hilltop to hilltop, whatever the case might be, sure, I I'll give you that. When you're looking at each other, you're going to form a triangle, and it will be 180 degrees. Sweet. Perfect. Brilliant. Now, if you go further in a straight line using ground-based navigation, and you have an azimuth from each point to the next point, <laughs> and it gets you to that point, and it doesn't add up to 180, 
You've got another shape it's going on. It's not a triangle. Yeah, yeah. Really? Hold on. Let's if see. If it doesn't add up to 180, it's well, what, not what, what? a I'm just triangle. curious. What makes a triangle? Three straight sides. It's a tree. A tri. You know what tri is? So it's got three tri points? Perhaps it's got three points? Is that what we're saying? Tri angle. Right. It's and angle oh, so it's got three so straight got, lines, and you've so got So tri a triangle. So three angles. It doesn't say anything yep. about a straight line in that. So you're angle, trying to tell me angle, what a... Angle, okay, darling, cool. Angle, the definition of angle is Great. the inclination between two straight lines. Yeah, not she's right. Not two curved lines. So it's not a triangle. If you curve those lines, it's not a triangle anymore. Okay. So you what you're saying is... You can't have an angle to a curve, can you? You can't I'm have like a... exactly what I said hellfire i'm saying if you curve those lines you're not drawing a triangle anymore tell me if these lines look curved to you are they straight are they curved well it that's how you tell if they're curved because if they, they'd so be curved and not if straight they're not curved they're straight you have to have a straight Which stand straight line set Yeah, some of the lines on there are straight. Some are the, some of the um. Okay, like so the line, going that's, the line that's the triangulation. That is it. Straight? Is that triangulation? That is navigation from ground-based navigation point to point. So if I want to go from one station to the yeah. other, right, three straight lines. Triangulation. Great. Yeah, so what do they add up to? One hundred eighty-three. Doing... They do add up to one hundred and eighty, don't they? Yeah. They're triangles. Yeah. Um, look at the fucking angles and tell me if they add up to 180. Because right now you're just making an assertion. Oh, it's a triangle. It must add up to 180. It must. But it it, yeah, they, yes, it's they do. Definition of a triangle. <laughs> For fuck's sake, look at the goddamn lines coming you, off of you, those I points. Can see, I it can see. I can see that you've wrote some extra numbers in there. Fire, so what? Okay, Paige, but they fucking drew it so that you can get to point A from point A to point B. And guess what? When you actually go on what it's drawn... 183. You, know, you think I follow a line or do you think I follow an azimuth? Got 183 degrees in I that triangle. You follow a straight Crazy, line on the isn't ground. It? <laughs> yeah, it is. Absolutely it's mental. Insane. You're just throwing out the Why do you think foundation that is? of geometry. Why because, do you think that is? Because you don't understand geometry. You don't understand the fact that this fucking triangle is going on a surface, and the reason it's, it's over 180 a degrees triangle. because it's fucking... It's not a triangle. It's got three angles, it's got three straight lines, and it's got three fucking corners. Here, hold on. Hold on a second. Let me take a look at this. Then I, it's I 180 at degrees. What are you looking at, guys? Where is this at? It's in the general chat. Uh, general. Okay, here, I'll, I'll It's in down. the general chat. It's, it's like, great, it's like four, four things up. Oh, it's, got, it's drawn a triangle with 183 oh, degrees in it. It's fantastic. Oh, my goodness. Everybody should come and watch this. Yeah. Have a look what's it. wrong with that? What, what's wrong with having a triangle with more than 180 degrees? What size ball is that triangle The problem with it is you're siding it using curving lenses and you're forgetting about how angles are effed up due to perspective, where parallel lines that should never meet oh due to Euclidean God. geometry appear to converge and merge and meet we're talking about a map. Your angles. Bro. So, so how do you think of siding angles? They use these okay, angles them using lenses and vision with questionable optical geometry, giving you questionable angles. What do you, what do you think you're you looking at? You don't see how lemons coming to help you here. Come on. Lemon, what do you think you're looking at that, looking at, at that map? It looks like yeah. angle headings or something okay. on some sort of a uh, map. All right, what do you think those corners are? Uh, angles or something? <laughs> Somebody had to sight those angles. And if you're using optical equipment no. and perspective to try to sight and make an no, angle... No, not sighted, Lemon. No, no, listen to him. Lines which should never don't, meet. don't try and help uh, him so when you haven't world. understood what he's saying to you. So, Lemon, you're talking squarely out of your ass. So let me fix that. <laughs> those corners are called VORs, all right? That's ground-based navigation, all right? Off of those lines, it tells you you need to fly at this heading in order to get to that next point. All right. 
I'm not following a line on a map or on the ground. I'm looking at a little fucking indicator on my HSI that tells me what heading I'm going and what, what direction that fucking VOR is, and it gets me there. Where, so where it tells did the me, uh, spherical triangle come from? So with 2D Cartesian No, it's not a spherical system. triangle. He said this is a course for straight course. line triangle, course. right? What the, I don't understand what the point is of this picture. It, it looks uh, like somebody drew some lines and then wrote some numbers in there. He's, he's got an extra three degrees. Can't you see that? Yeah. It's fantastic. Okay, but if, those, those if the world is flat, not part of the, the rest of the system. Those are added in later. So who if cares the what he wrote there? Flat, you can look at you want to see. Right. Are, are you confused? Are you confused where those numbers came from? Come out your ass! The extra three came out your ass. If you are confused about where the numbers came from, okay. Are you confused? You got three degrees extra. Hammer, guys. Can I just? I can Not draw a point picture three. right now. You got Hold three on. degrees. Let them let and I want you. And then put the degrees in there. Does that make that real do or you, accurate or reality or anything? Do like, you know where I the got point? the degrees from? Do you know where I got the degrees from? Out of your ass. So, so let me explain it to you. Maybe if you open up your mind. If you open up your mind, so you actually fucking learn something about yeah, navigation, so you don't have to stop yeah. swearing, dude. Calm down. Where you got the numbers from? Would you okay. like me to explain what it looks like? You got anything? That's not how we get reality. Okay. Would you like me to explain what I want to know? And what your point is with it? What do you basically? Trying to show it looks like you yeah. have power ping, and so these towers have to put out a signal, which is received by another tower or something. And so if there's signal delay, oh, wouldn't that mess God. with your angles and uh, with the rate of propagation? I mean, Again, there's like other as um, usual, explanations you're talking here out of your have to, um, That's not how the ground navigation works. These aren't fucking cell so towers. So how does it work then without signals? You said it doesn't work by sight, and you said it didn't work by signal, so how the hell are they navigating then? You think they talk to each other? You think the towers talk to each other, Lemon? Is that what you're asserting? How, how are they uh, navigating? There's an antenna. I bet you that it's a uh, signal ping, and there's a signal ping it. delay, right. which is leading to um, lag with the signal, which is leading to possible um, uh, uh, error so you margin think, with the you, um, you, uh, angles so in the distance. You think, How you are think they radio the waves? Distance? You think radio waves traveling at the speed of fucking light? Are gonna <laughs> somehow be interrupted by my helicopter Don't get that tricky, travels dude. radio waves traveling at the with speed atmospherics, of light. with yeah. height, now with signal attenuation. Yeah. yeah. So how attention. are they uh, measuring these hold distances? On, hold on, hold on. Signal hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all are me up right now. Hold on. Hold on. Let's go back to the three degrees. I don't want the answer to lead to anything that could lead to a flat Earth. So I bet you it's signal propagation, isn't it? For a second. Hold on. We gotta we gotta squash it real quick. Was did I? hear correctly when you guys when somebody laughed at the idea that radio waves travel at the speed of light yeah dude that's like an assumption oh, it's, it's, you do, you do realize, it's your you do deflection of getting away you from your triangle realize, uh, that's you what i was realize, laughing at you do realize that visible light that you see is the same electromagnetic spectrum it's as radio waves deflect. right you're you do aware realize that, right? you, you literally have zero percent of proof whatsoever of, a, of light having speed at all just right you do realize that right you cannot demonstrate that to anyone ever oh i actually can yep. right so no you can't where these angles come from you have to where these angles come demonstrate that otherwise you would I, I am. You got. You guys just keep on barring my bullshit. Show us pictures and demonstrate. Demonstrate it right now for all of us. Get on there and stream. Demonstrate the speed of light, verifiably, credibly, and repeatedly, right now. You can't do it. Nobody can do it. Okay, it's not something that we can possibly do. That's not how we detect light. We Dude. cannot verify the speed of light. So if you're starting with that as an assumption, you're already on the wrong track because you have to assume something's true that you cannot it's, verify it's much simpler to prove that you can only yeah. have 180 yeah. degrees in a triangle you know much simpler this is why i told you to go back to the foundation hellfire the cracks in the foundation are where these weeds are growing through and you guys are climbing up these weeds going woohoo earth's a ball what it's the not... hell kind of analogy was that that meant nothing Bev. Can you do a 180-degree triangle in spherical geometry? Show me how that's done. In spherical geometry? That's not a triangle, is it? Like Paige has just yeah, said, no. we've just explained. No, right. You no, need no, two no. straight lines for an angle. Shut up for a second. Is it... Let me fucking finish this whole fucking nap chart. It's a kangle thing. if you've got so, curved lines. It's not an so angle. Hold on. It's a kangle. 
So if so, so one of you said like I made up these fucking numbers, but I can show you where they're so coming I pull, from. I pulled Would your you like extra three angle out of no, your no, ass. No, I didn't say you made them up. I'm saying you could make them up. It doesn't matter where they came from. They're just numbers on a picture, so that doesn't show us. Yeah, that doesn't okay, prove so, anything okay. to us. All right, numbers on a picture. Numbers on a picture that have to accurately tell people that they're flying an aircraft with a couple oh, hundred fucking lives. Like no, they don't. Bob, they don't have to accurately tell you anything. Really? So when I'm flying no, instrument no, in the don't. clouds and I have no reference why. to the ground. No, let, let me explain. Why. Let me, no, you, to him you obviously can't fucking explain how to do my fucking Calm job. Down. Because when I'm flying, it doesn't matter whose job it is. It could be it could be seven billion other people's job, okay? We don't have to talk about your job. I can explain to you why it doesn't have to be accurate and it can still work. A human being designed the system to do exactly what they needed to do. So it could say Little green goblins are over here. Go towards the little green goblins, and it could still yeah. direct you in the exact direction you need to go by just saying go towards the little green goblins. And guess what, buddy? Little green goblins still won't exist, and that you system will still get you there. You think I fly with? Exactly. It doesn't matter what those numbers are. It doesn't he's matter. He's trying to explain to you so, that it doesn't. Yeah, that doesn't. They could be go goblins. They he, he's trying to tell me that it doesn't matter, but it absolutely fear. does. It doesn't it, matter what the paper says. The system can still work, no matter what they put in yes. those numbers. Because it's designed to work. Okay, tell <laughs> what system, please? Because when I use this the piece of paper, the system you're showing us the picture of right there, the system that you're saying that you rely on to fly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't need numbers. You can use any symbol you wanted in place of those numbers. You, it you, would not matter. You don't, you don't think... So you think every single fucking compass knows where I want to go, so it predetermines... No. It goes to a predetermined position to tell the me what The person heading that on. gives you your orders That's, knows where you're supposed you to go. To the and they tell you what to use, don't they? gives me my orders. And they tell you what no. to use, don't they? No. <laughs> they don't. Not at all. Oh, as a pilot, they, they don't tell you how to use your equipment. About who, they don't tell you how to use it. Gets. They just put you no. in a plane without any training whatsoever and tell you fly I have, somewhere. I have the option to use do. VOR. I have the option to use ADF. I have the option to use you have an option GMC. To use any I have of the, the devices, option to use any of the any systems device. that they've laid out so for you, and you're not allowed to use that will work. So, and you could not build that system from scratch on your own, could you? Well, yeah, if it got me to a place and I held a heading for so many miles, yes. You could not I can build that this point to this point. And point. if you had you could not a put plumb that together bob dropped from, from the roof of you, the plane, you, you are making an absolute no bullshit assertion you because you don't understand how navigation works. No, I'm works. not. What I'm you absolutely you are. You what are you're telling me is bullshit. Like you're actually trying to You're, you're you doing the bath with when you don't stop talking. You're just trying to fucking smash on someone when you don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. You're literally talking about the No, no, I know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking you about the system, you not matter what the numbers are. That's you don't what I'm even know what the system is. I don't work. You don't any even system. know how this It doesn't have works. to be that system. It doesn't matter what system it was. Well, you take Windows 10, so an operating is, system on the computer. Take that as an example. Listen, that is listen what, Windows you, 10 you, has you a little thing, out of your a, a, a window symbol down in the bottom left of the screen <sighs> on Windows 10. There's a little window symbol, and you, if you click on it, it says, like, if you hover over it, it says start. And if you click on it, it brings up another menu. It That's literally doesn't matter works. what that That's symbol is. They could change that to any picture they wanted, and it would still so do the same thing when work. you click on it. Does a compass Let's know where it is? Or just, just Not know the all the time, no. Compasses no, in some places can be 180 degrees. Yes. It doesn't know yes. anything. It That's doesn't know things. It's Great. an item. It's an object. It's a thing. Great. So a how can can't it get affected stuff. by magnetic things in the Earth? So how can this thing that doesn't know where the fuck it is, if I make it fucking point in a certain direction, still takes me where I want to go if, it can't, if it's not part of a system? Because... You we didn't say it wasn't part of a system. Pointed it where you needed to go, right? Yeah. No, he said it's part of a system. He said, but Hellfire, you I didn't point say there's no system. I'm saying you travel in a straight line to wherever you're going. What numbers are. If you change those numbers okay. to little green goblins and unicorns, do, um, that system would still work. Dude, has anyone no, actually done no, anything? Because I've just yes, measured those angles. All, all they have to do is change it from go to here to no, go to this symbol. Been able to get or anyway. to, and, and, I, I and have. How would, how would right, that instruct you? I've okay, actually... I've actually measured the angles on that triangle. And the yeah. one that reads 65 is actually 62. 
All the other uh, ones are correct. It just seems like you've seems like you've added an extra three nope. degrees somewhere. Good. Now zoom into that bottom one. All right. No, and I've measured. I've measured hey, the hey, angle. I, let me show you how it's done, so you can. Stop you've just added an extra draft. three degrees. No, it, it actually measures sixty-two. You've you added an you extra see, three. Do you see the three, four, six? What? In that little fucking hexagon. Uh, no, like, dude, I've see measured. The the angles, right? Of all right, of the angles. Right. But you measured the angles on a flat panel. And that's the point. All right? From that point, from that VOR, to go to the one on the northeast. Straight lines. Shut up. And the one to go to the northwest, right? It tells you that to get there, the actual heading that you have to go is 346 to go to the one on the northwest. To go, actually go to the other one, I got to go 051 Why don't you move, move the point right. over to where you should it should actually be? Oh, my God. Can I finish my fucking statement? Wow. Can I? So you can actually learn something and stop talking out of your asshole? Would that help if you actually had some information so that when you talk, you can do so in form? Is it just is that you, okay? You've got that just that corner of the angle, then that triangle. Look in the mirror. Doing, you're just All right. Making so, whole crap yeah. up and talking out of your rear end. No. Yeah. Total you, projection. I'm asking you to look at the same thing I'm looking at. Do you see the three, four, six? Yeah, a picture, a cartoon. Yes. Okay. To the cartoon. So to fly from thinking that about point. It. So to fly from that point to the next point, it's I got a triangle, fly dude. Right Shut the fuck up and let me finish. All right. To fly from that point to the one to the northeast, I got to go zero five one degrees. All right. The difference between zero five one degrees and three four six degrees. North is three six zero. Try the math then. What? It's still a straight line. The difference line. between the yeah. two degrees are 65 yeah, degrees. Dude, it, you've you got a triangle with three straight sides. Up. It will not have more than 180 degrees. Simple. My dude, do you so not see the does, issue? The it, do you not understand why what you're saying is an issue? All right. You measured it on a flat panel. Right, but this is a flat representation of something that's curved, and because it's curved, when you measure a not flat straight angle, lines, then are they? Panel, if it curves, I do. It tells you what an, what the angle <laughs> is from hell. one point to another. My goodness. Do you not see? Can you not do math? Can you not, you not see the cognitive dissonance going on here in your head? Effect to declare reality physically. That's not how it works. Okay. If it's one not two D, it's more not time. a triangle. What is the yeah. difference? What is the difference between? 51 degrees and 346 degrees. What's that angle in between them? What is the difference between your vertical and my vertical? Oh my god. Why are you deflecting? I'm still fucking talking about... 51 degrees and 346? Yeah. 51 plus... Um, uh, 60 minus 346, that's uh, 14. So 51 plus 14, 65. Wow, look at Unless that! You go the other way around. Measuring it flat, so you've got, got you've got a circle with more than 360 degrees! You just fucking proved that's my amazing. point! Wow, brilliant, I like that. Because that's how you got the extra that degrees. Does mean anything? Oh, it, it means very much. Because Does it it magic magic really some you fucking degrees? It's different than 2D. Everybody if, accepts that, that 2D and 3D are different. That's not even yeah. an argument we're having. So if you physically fly these fucking headings, the difference you between those be headings is the angle. Plane, will you? you will be flying in a straight line. 363 degrees. Perfect. You'll be and flying do in space, and not and 2D. With the other, and with the other angles, they add up to 183. So that two-dimensional triangle is not a distinction of reality. Doesn't do anything to the ground. Do, wow. do you not understand? Do you not understand that in a two-dimensional fucking map, all right, angles should add up to Just talk to without all the fucking, fucking, fucking in between. They do. They do add up well, on the two-dimensional map. Yeah. You're saying right. when you change it to 3D, suddenly something changes. They well, do no in fact. reality You're as well. You're changing it to 3D. Yeah. That's going to change so, things. Yeah. If the Earth is flat, You're then it wouldn't change nothing. that. No. If the Earth is flat, Dude. it wouldn't change the 180. No. How would triangulation. It you know how triangulation works. <sighs> My God. It's only yes. changing on your paper. It hasn't changed yeah. in reality. You haven't shown us anything in reality changing. You've just said that it does change and shown us on paper something changes. That can you please? Nothing. Can you please demonstrate how on a flat Earth, Dude. 
Any triangle oh, is not going to be one eighty. Dude, we use That's triangles. We, side, we, we use triangles like to that. measure so, distances so Paige, and angles so Paige, and predict so Paige, triangles so Paige, and angles so Paige, and distances. So Paige, just right? We don't use triangles with more than one hundred and eighty degrees because they don't exist. And she's correct. I think it's just experiment error, but it's like 183 to 180. That's three degree. Uh, so that's a one de degree for three sides. De decades of just, aviation. Uh, an error decades per side of, or something like decades that. Decades of aviation navigating safely. Appealing to authority doesn't prove yeah, anything. Yeah, and they teach those enough. pilots to um, think of oh, the Earth as please, a flat, okay, non-rotating surface. Why do you think we do that? Because it is. No because it really doesn't have a lot of effect because the winds affect yeah, us a lot more than the curve that the ship has and no effect on the flight. Oh, a thousand miles an hour, here we fucking go. Like, someone effect. doesn't understand fucking reference frames. The equator cool. moves faster than that. So, yes, yeah, reference, reference frames, frames, reference frames, reference frames. frames. Damage control coming. got wrecked, those reference frames. <laughs> what? Yeah, the reference the frames ones that have, that have been ruined. supposedly been destroyed, the ones that that ballers came up with and then subsequently wrecked themselves. Those I don't know frames? what you're talking about, so elaborate. Yeah, I don't know what reference frames you're talking about. Are they the ones you pretend exist? And then so say, don't. You're just saying words and not expanding on what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about, so I don't care what you're saying because you want to elaborate on what you're talking about. Are we not talking about. Oh, if we're not talking about reference frames, that's fine. Yeah, we don't need to continue. That's okay. I thought so, you said reference frames. I thought the, those words came out of your mouth, but maybe not. Well, yeah, the Earth, the fucking oh, aircraft, okay. the atmosphere. I, that that you want to prove. I, didn't, I didn't bring up reference frames. You did. So, what reference frames are you talking about? Are you talking the about relationship between reference the Earth, the aircraft, and the atmosphere? So, so the ones you can't verify. Right. You what do you mean you anymore? can't verify? You, you, you don't, so you don't think there's that... relative speed between the Earth, the aircraft, and the fucking atmosphere? Why would I think that there's something that exists you that said you can't there verify? Was no Why would I think that? I you do that. You go around thinking things are real when you can't verify them. So do you believe I can so what, tell so when, so when I'm holding when I'm at a, when I, when Earth. I'm at a hundred foot hover and my point over the earth doesn't change hover. so I'm going You're zero knots ground Earth. speed so I'm going zero knots ground speed but I got a wind and I'm showing 45 knots airspeed is that not reference for reference That's wind. is that not relative that speed sounds like wind is what it sounds mm -hmm. like Okay. You're um, basically no, over the still most I, I think earth. wind can affect things. I think it does. I never argued okay. against that. So what, why right. are you calling it something else? It How sounds like wind to me. You need that plane to be deflecting. So you need to show. Why do I need it to spin? be deflecting? If the atmosphere is because moving with the fucking Earth, why does it need to be deflecting? You have no proof your Earth is any different to mine. You need drift to show your Earth is different from my stationary Earth. But by saying there's Why? no drift... Why? Because you're showing no drift, like a stationary Earth would have. No drift. So, you conservation of momentum drift. isn't a thing? <sighs> conservation of Don't momentum means that the plane wouldn't be able to uh, uh, turn no around difference. or change course. Lemon, just shut up. Let Paige talk. Yeah. 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 The, no the plane wouldn't be able to turn around or change course if momentum was is being con conserved. Is conservation of momentum a thing, Paige? Uh, is it a thing or not? Arguing, oh I'm off. God. This is uh, useless. I'll see you that, later. Yeah, it is, isn't it? it